In this video, we are just going to practice uh, logical operators and if, else, if, and else, if, and else statements. So, um, yeah, let's get on with it. So, I'm not going to use any variables. I'm just going to use raw numbers. And I'll just make a if statement and we'll say if 5 is more than 6 and 5 is less than 4, which, of course... It's not more, it can't be both simultaneously more than six and less than four. Fortunately, it's not either of these things. But um, yeah, it has to be both of these things in order for that to work. We're going to say that we'll print out five is more than six and less than four. Okay, this won't print out because obviously five isn't more than six and less than four. And then we're going to put an else if. So this is an alternative if, right? And we're going to say else if 5 is more than 4 and 5 is less than 6, do something. Now, you'll see that 5 is obviously more than 4. So we'll say 5 is more than 4 and less than Okay. Now, this here is all one block, you know, and essentially, if this if statement were to uh, hold true, then this would this would be the first thing to be executed, and the else if wouldn't be executed, whether it was true or not. In this case, this will be false, and so the else if, which will be true, will execute. The reason it's true is because. 5 is more than 4, and 5 is also less than 6. If just one of these two conditions weren't true, then this would not execute. That being said, let's run this. 5 is more than 4, and less than 6. Excellent. So what we've demonstrated is that this is true. That only when both are true, will it execute. Now let's have a little look at two else ifs within an if, uh, else if block. So we'll say if... I don't know, 10 is more than 7, or, what should we say and, we'll say and, and 10 is less than 9, which it isn't, print 10 is more than 7 and less than 9. <clears throat> now what you'll see is, this isn't true, but this is. But this won't actually run. This won't execute anything when I run it. Um, because only one of these two conditions has been met. Right then, let's make an else if. And we'll say else if 10 is more than 11. Or 10 is less than 9. Neither of those are true. So we're going to say... 10 is more than 11, or 10 is less than 9. Do you remember the or, uh, the or operator? So the or operator essentially dictates that if either of these two on the left of it or the right of it are true, then this whole, oh, I don't know why that happened, this whole statement in general is true. However, neither of these is true, so this probably won't execute. But let's see what happens in the real world. It, it, it won't execute, but, you know. We'll use another or statement, and we'll say, if 10 is more than 11, or 10 is more than 9, which it is, then we'll print 10 is more than 11, or 10 is more than 9. Now, obviously, 10 is more than 9, so this should execute. Excellent, it's executed. So that's, you know, that's all we really needed here, yeah? And you can see that because only one of these was true, or at least one of these was true, this has executed. Only one of them has to be true. And so long as at least one of these two uh, comparisons is true this will execute okay easy enough we'll do an if statement uh, we'll say if 10 is more than 21 or should we say if 10 is not equal to oops 
not equal to 9. Just make that a bit neater. Then we'll print 10 is not equal to 9. Okay. Now, we're going to put an else if, but the else if won't run. Why won't the else if run? Okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll put the exact same else if in. Okay. And this will show that if the first one runs, then the second one's also true. But the second one won't run. And I'll tell you why it won't run. It won't run because it's in the same block as this if here. Okay. So in this whole block, if one of these executes, any that come after it within the same block will not execute. Remember? So we'll run this and we'll only get one print out of 10 is not equal to 9. If that doesn't happen, then I don't know anything about this program. There we are. Just one instance of it, as I said. Just one instance of it. Because even though the second instance is true, because it's in the same if else if block, it doesn't execute if something before it has executed. So it's just ignored, right? Even though it's true. Okay? So we've used all the logical operators. We've used and, which means if both uh, conditions are met, then the overall condition is true. We used or, as long as one is true, then the overall condition is true. And we also use not equal to. And if that is not the same as that, then this is true. Okay? Easy enough. Now we're going to show an if and else statement. So we'll say if 10 is not equal to 10, oh, not 1, not equal to 10, then we'll print 10 is not equal to 10. Now I'm going to use an else statement, okay? And we're going to say else. There's no argument needed because else covers all other possibilities, which is essentially anything that isn't 10 in this case. So we just print 10 is equal to 10 here, okay? Simple enough. What? Ah, yeah, sorry. Didn't close that off there. Very bad practice there. Very bad practice. Need to tell myself off. And then we'll have another if else. So we'll say if 10 is more than 7. No, if 10 is more than 11. Um, we'll print 10 is more than 11. It's not, so that won't print. Then we'll put an else if. 10 is less than 9, which also isn't true. Then we'll print 10 is less than 9. This won't ever happen because it's obviously not true. And then we'll put an else statement, right? Which essentially just says anything else that could be. It doesn't even need to be 10 or 9 or any of that. Just as long as these two aren't true this will execute. As long as the rest of the statement block isn't true, the else will always execute, okay? So it just it just doesn't matter, really, what's in your statement block. This else, if the rest of the statement block does not execute or nothing else in it executes, this else will always execute, okay? Else covers every single possibility. And we'll say 10 is not more than, it's not more than 11. 10 is also not less than 9. All right. Easy enough. That's the only one that executed uh, because these two weren't true. It wouldn't matter what these two were. It wouldn't matter how many else, el other else ifs we had. We could have 50 else ifs that didn't execute. This else will always execute if anything, if everything, if something else in the if block does not execute the else will always execute if the rest doesn't okay so let's go back over all the stuff that i've covered today in this video so we've got the and logical operator which says that if the item on the left and the item on the right are true 
the overall and statement is true, i.e. that if this is true, so the condition is met. We've got the or, so if one or the other condition to the left or the right of the or is correct, then the or statement is true and the code will initiate. And then we've got the not if. So if the item on the left is not equal to the item on the right, then not if is true and this should execute whatever it is okay now then here we have two statements that are both true but the 10 is not equal to 9 it's only executed once that's because in an if else if or an if else if else or an if else statement the if an item you know it's executed if a statement is executed and it seemed to be true then nothing else in the statement block that comes after that will execute i this is the entire statement block and because the first statement is true and executes the last statement or the second statement does not execute because only one item in the if statement block can execute okay if we had if we added 10 more else ifs it wouldn't matter this would be the only thing that if statement here would be the only thing in the whole block to run okay and then we got the not equal to there uh, because that's equal to that doesn't run but we got the else statement so essentially in an if else block or an if else if block if everything above the else uh, hasn't you know executed or is false should we say the else block will the else statement will execute right that's it so um yeah thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed